Welcome to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And my original plan for this video was to get straight into some construction and set up some rail lines once I've earned some money. But I've got a problem I need to fix almost immediately. In fact, I'm going to pause the game to stop it getting worse. You can see here, for some reason, I've lost all my teachers from this area here. And if I look in here, I've just got to find the block that's allocated. Yes, you've only got two teachers. What on earth has happened here? So what we're going to need to do is find some teachers. I mean, it says I've got 216 highly educated people. And the question is, where are they? I know I've got over here is okay. I'm just going to check here. You've got no teachers. Okay, so you've got a problem. I mean, this area should be okay. Yeah, you've got plenty of teachers. So let's have a look here. So what's the block that's allocated to teachers? You're allocated to the hospital. You've got no educated people. So okay, let's just have a look. You're allocated to the school. You've only got two teachers. I mean, I thought there'd be more people here. Have a look. Yeah, for some reason I'm losing all my educated staff. I mean, I've got a lot, quite a lot of educated people down here. I've got 16 here and 13 here. And what I'm inclined to do here is pick up five from here. And this is the block that allocated the hospital. You're allocated to the school. So what I'm going to do is move five people in up to here just to improve the education here what's the education here like so you've got no teachers you're unspecified you've got no teachers so we've got no teachers in this area as well great so where are all my teachers or educated people hmm, seems a lot of them are up here okay I've got 72 people in here, and this is the one that's allocated to the school. This is allocated to the school as well. We've only got one teacher in here. So I think what we're going to do is relocate one. I think we're going to put 11 teachers in there. And maybe we need to move up with these people unable to visit the hospital here because I don't have educated people here I think what we're going to do is move a couple of people here here let's just, just move out quite a lot of people and you're allocated to the hospital and I think we're going to invite a quite a, a big watch of educated people into here because we need to get this hospital working as well because this hospital's got no doctors. Oh, isn't this fun? You've got six teachers and you need a school. So what we're gonna do is move some of you down here, away from there. Is that all my educated people up here? You've got 28 and there's no one, wow. What are my educated people doing up there? You've got no teachers, so who who are you allocated to? And fire school. So like there's nobody actually allocated to this school. School two. Your school two. So you've got twenty-eight here, so is it this is is this one here, yeah, okay. What we're going to do is allocate two, three some teachers into here. That puts 20 teachers into there. We've got eight teachers here. I think we're going to invite a couple of more teachers there and move some of these, let's say, over here. We've got a bit more space for them. And I'm just gonna let the game run and see how things settle down. You've got 18 teachers for this school because I'm sure this is you're the one who's 
Yep, you're a small shopping center. So you've got 18 teachers there, or educated people. I don't know. stop calling them, try and stop calling them teachers. Yeah, I'm going to really need to build up my educated workforce here. I've got a bit of a crisis here. And I think this is a good example of how quickly your population or your economy can collapse if you don't pay attention to the details. So let's just get in here. You still don't have... You know, so let's just move you down here. And I'm just going to move. It also makes you wonder whether if you don't give people educated people good jobs they won't stay and they're the ones who are actually going to escape in the parlance of the game you've got quite a lot of ordinary people so i think what we need to do is replace some of the population up here with and i think the other advantage is if i bring people up here where the education is good you can see you've got adults in here who are uneducated so what you can do is get these people in, they get a better education, and then they get start working. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the distillery from there and let you focus more on educational jobs. Come on. Why aren't you? This is going to take a little while for the... It'll take a little while for these guys to get into the action and start doing things. Actually, let's... Mm. My instinct is to push this even harder. You've got no educated people, but you can provide the ordinary staff for that. Yeah, we've got teachers in there now, so I mean, it just takes a little while sometimes for things to pick up a bit. But we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Now, now, moving on to a bit more of a generic update, where my rail construction crews are currently working on this these bridges here. I don't think this one's quite finished yet. And the idea is for these to bridge across here and then what we will be doing is going out here to there's a lake over here somewhere, yeah. And what we're thinking of is to drive the rail through there to get some more access to oil. Over here these guys are building up quite nicely. I mean that hasn't been assigned to an office. You've got no jobs. Why are you on auto search? Right, I'm just going to allocate this job to these. Up here, progress is moving forward a little bit better than it was before. Because what I've done is, is I've finally managed to get some of these blocks up here. And what I've got is all these, uh, all the people in this blocks besides the main area here are assigned to the construction to keep the construction moving what I've also got is a gravel area here so what I need to do is change this construction and we're going to move the gravel there and the, what I've got is dumper trucks bringing gravel down to here so that the, the, the main construction people don't have to travel a long way to get everything built here and the other thing I'm also thinking is I've put a spur out here because what I would like to do is if I can show you the road I think I've, I've found a gravel uh, mine up here and there's another one just over this area here and what I'm thinking about is turning is building a gravel town here which will then drive my steel works over there So that's looking good guys I mean I did consider building a gravel loading depot here and then shipping the gravel through but at the moment I think this is just going to be too much of a pain to get things going through here 
because this is quite a big slope. You can't really see it because of the trees. And the other problem is would be electrifying the lines up here. I would have to pay for the, those lines to be electrified. I'm just still worrying about this education. And let's just have a look here. I mean, we've got four professors. We've got, I don't really have anyone around here that's providing professors for my university, are they? I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Maybe we can punch in some more. Let's just get plenty of... I think what I really need to do around here is push for these people to work. I think maybe if we... I mean, maybe push this up. What I really need is a dedicated office block full of professors is probably the best way to do it. This should be, I should really make this a bit bigger. I mean, could I, if I take out this area here, let me just work this out, guys. I mean, it's probably not going to be the, one of my better ideas, but if we switch out that area there, and then we get a mask. Ah, not going to be big enough, is it? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to move you. And then we're going to move everyone else to there. And then what we're going to do is demolish this. And then we're going to clear out this area here. And then we're going to disturb everything, but I just feel I need to get some proper buildings in here to drive my university. Oops. I mean, yeah. If we get a flat there, we can get three in there. That. Most truthfully, it was only a matter of time before I started redesigning my cities. Uh, I mean, it's a habit that I've got, so... I'm just going to purchase those. I think we'll do these connections straight away. And maybe we'll look around like that. I'm going to purchase this for speed purposes. And I think what we will do is build just one of these blocks for just to get the process moving forward we, we've got it's going to be a bit tight for cash but and then i've got i think my construction yard over here isn't doing that much lost it where is it <laughs> there it is yeah you don't you don't have much on your plate at the moment so what we'll do is we'll sign those roads in there And I'm just going to invite uh, a couple of these and get some professors in there. And you've only got one focus now. That is on with the university. So your job is going to be to drive the education here, turn out lots of educated people. I mean, that should help considerably. And we can build these two blocks, and then what we will have is another one full of professors, another one where we can move ordinary people in, and then they can drive this technical university. And then what we will do eventually is some of the people here, maybe we can do it. Just going to get a couple of you back that way. Yeah, we've got loads of professors in here now. That should improve the education. And let's just get back over here. And just keep an eye on... Oops, where am I? 
seem to be get, keep getting lost at the moment. That's my oil town. Let's just use the right drag to get across the area here. And of course, because I'm spending all my money on education, I can't get my train running, which is a little bit of a pain. But what we can do is just keep this area going at the moment. I don't want to. I think there's also an issue with when you play this game on high speed that what happens is if you play the game intensely on high speed, I think things deteriorate a lot quicker. Right, you, let's just check my constructions. You're okay. So we're just going to come over here. You, you're working on a road and a footpath and a coal power plant. So we just want to keep that running. And my other constructor, you're, you're working on those flats. You've got no jobs at all. Okay. I know you're going to be a long way from home. But if I can allocate you to let's just see what can we allocate you to. So we've got a road being built there with tarmac on. I think if we allocate you to there and to this doesn't have a road connection. Okay, let me just build that. And one thing I will do is we're just gonna move the gravel to here which you're gonna be working over here and I think temporarily steel bricks prefabs and boards so, so your trucks can work over this side and what was I looking at yeah this site here this, this doesn't this have a road connection no it doesn't okay I'm gonna connect that up Everything else got a road connection. You don't have a road connection. Just you have got my own about. You've got a road connection. Right, road crew. You have a road. You work on that road there. So this is running well. And we've got no money. <laughs> I think the real problem is when you, just to sh just to show you guys now I've made the rail connection to here so what I really really want to do is get this up and running with trains bringing resources in from this area where the purchase price is only 1.9 and what I want is the resources to flow in just flip across the map again sorry about this guys to this area here where if I show you this is 50 52 uh, rubles per ton delivery what are you doing wait I, I don't need you um, go to depot oh, I picked all these up I mean you're just wasting resources here that's a concrete mixer just have a who are you oil refinery you go to depot I don't need you because I've got a train now operating this line anyone else along this road yeah this is something also that gets me guys <laughs> It's one of the few games I've seen where you can actually get road rage sometimes where people, vehicles actually overtake on the road when it comes to speed because obviously this truck's a little bit slower. So you get this kind of, oh, oh, come on, I'm going to get past you. Uh, you, you can't, get out of the way, get out of the way. <laughs> see if he's going to do it this time. We're on the downhill now. Oh, he's tailgating him. <laughs> go on, go on, go faster, go faster. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. I I just get quite fascinated sometimes when games have quirks like that. And I'm not, not saying it's a bug. I mean, to me, it's just fascinating. And it actually shows the difference because, like, in city skylines, the traffic just very obediently follows each other around and doesn't overtake much. They form orderly queues. 
and it's quite amusing to see a game where uh, things aren't quite so orderly. Yeah, I mean, we've got lots of people here. Um, and they've got seven teachers here. But, um, my ink. Well, we've got this as an open prefab. Okay. I know I just put a load of professors in here. My inclination is to maybe we're going to move a few lives here. My inclination is to move maybe a few over to here. That's the and what we'll do is we'll assign you to there and to there. Split it 50-50 so that we can keep lots of people in the hospital as well. Because I, I think this is the one. Yeah, you've only got six university educated people. If we can build this up as a, another center of excellence. And then that will keep this, and then we might be able to solve this education problem here. As you can see, we've got a really large number of uh, adults in here who are looking to get an education. So, and this has to be very much the focus. Education, education, education. The other thing I'm thinking, guys, is to punch a road out here in my aggregate area. I don't really want to upgrade these roads. I know I could come into... I mean, it's going to be more of a service road for construction perspective. So we've got this area here. I mean, I could... I pick up... Uh, gravel road I mean if I take this right out I get this in one go yeah if we get a nice long road like that and it'd be maybe we can hook it into there and then then we could upgrade this road and then this road will then curve rounds and then that will allow me the construction vehicles to get into this area to build this area up yeah i think that will work guys right who's doing nothing who's got no roads you've got three roads and what have you got you got any roads attached yeah you've got one road you're 63 percent finished i think we'll allocate that road Horses without steel, without gravel. Okay, so where's... Okay, so we got no steel here. Buildings without power supply. Yeah, so we're getting a bit short on steel. Got a big pile of steel here. So what we're going to have to do is... And we have to move you back to there. And I suppose it's going to apply to this one as well. It's also gravel is empty. So gravel is going to be an issue. I really need to get that train in running as fast as possible. I think what's causing the problem is the power station here. But what I really want to do is get this power station finished. Because if I can get the power station finished, I can start to power this area even if I have to put for it by the coal. Yeah. So that's going to be an issue. Loads of prefabs and bricks here. What I just I really need to do is be ship get a train running that I can ship in steel. But then I, I couldn't afford to buy it anyway. I think this is one of the interesting aspects of this game is that there's just so much depth and complexity. I mean I've got so much gravel here. 
I, I don't know what to do with them. I mean, there's no blocking going on or something like that, is it? Was it just the fact that the demand for gravel here is just so high? Maybe, maybe that make it putting this one on gravel here. Maybe we need need to put this guy back to here and put the steel bricks and prefabs. Let leave them on. Put them on that one again. What, what, what are you doing? Oh, you're you're delivering to a gas station. That's okay. I mean, I just want to check over here. I want to check my. Yeah, the coal's flowing in really well. These guys are keeping ahead of the flow. These roads are being built. I suspect no pub or tavern. Yeah, well. Um, I don't know. Can we? Um, these stumbled workers. I was just going to get this area built in. Yeah, I really think we need to focus on the. Yeah, well, you're okay. You're doing well. Oops. It's a shopping centre, not the school. We've still got quite a lot of adults in here that need to be educated. But hopefully, they will improve over time. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, we got four thousand three hundred thirty-seven uneducated people. That's something we we need to improve. We got. 319 educated people well, that's probably due to the fact that I've been bringing them in yeah I mean the moment we're still losing a bit of money because I, I was still paying for the immigrants there but let's see what we're exporting so we're doing okay with clothes bitumen power a lot of the power now is being used by me so I'm not exporting so much I'm a bit disappointed with fuel bitumen is there where is my main ex expenses yeah steel see this is the one that's costing so much money at the moment um, I think what I'm going to have to do is let the current tranche of construction go through and then what I'm gonna to have to do is scale the construction back a little bit especially anything that requires large quantities of steel so I think once this power station is up and running I mean we still need needed so we still need another 106 tons of steel I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suspend the construction of that for the moment because this is just pulling up too much steel and it's draining my money so I think what I think it'd be more efficient for me to suspend this get the train up and running start importing the steel to here which will then save me some money and then what we can do then is work on from that point forward I think that would be a better way forward actually to be honest so just make sure you're working on the coal mine and a prefab so you're working on this prefab here and just check what that decision to cancel the or suspend the but right, you've got an unfinished road you've got an unfinished road so let me just see this only needs a small amount of steel so what do you need that's got 34 tons, that's aggregate storage. And what we got here? Aggregate storage. Mm, actually, what's up with this road here? Missing resource asphalt. Okay, let's just get you working on that and we'll put you onto there. 
And what's up with the asphalt production? If I don't have any workers in my asphalt plant. <laughs> Always seems to be one thing after another here. We're not store export. Well, I think it could be more the fact that we don't have the trucks for the asphalt. Um, let me just get back to here. Let's just check. It's okay, turn off the auto research. I don't know why that keeps switching on. Yeah. I think it's got it's the sheer distance for having to deliver the asphalt which is causing the problem. I mean I could go up to high speed and start to build things out, but I think we'll be okay guys. Actually I'm very tempted. Is that four thousand yet? I'm just going to finish that road off to be honest I'm, I'm not totally convinced of why I'm actually building that with asphalt actually what I'm going to do is demolish that road get back in with gravel okay <laughs> okay right, let's just put that in there and then we're just going to actually I'm just going to leave that there just in case I need to put a road up through there and then what we can do is just go back to here and we can assign you this road here what's this unfinished road where where is this okay i don't know why that thinks that's an unfinished road but we can get that right road finished there Just gonna get over here and see how these guys are working. Yeah, I mean this road's pushing out really nice. Of course, the other thing is with my my trains here laying track. So, so again, I think just to help get the money up, once these guys have laid this bit of track, I'm just gonna stop because. This, until I've got this infrastructure built up, there's no point pushing out a bit any further in this direction. But what I will do is build, is lay out a construction site. Let me just do this. Um, what I'm going to need is a construction office out here. I'm not sure this is going to let me. No. Mm. Well, that's going to interfere with the road, so no, don't do that. Yeah, uh, don't do anything stupid. I'll just build that road first. Um, it's the same over here. I mean, it's got it needs 5.5 tons. So, these guys are quite happy building this up. I think I can finish off the existing projects. And how are we doing here? Yeah, this is working. How's the school going here? Yep. So we're getting the education up and running again. Starting to educate people. I've got a feeling this school problem was run has been running for some time. But we've now got education in here. No doctors. Come on. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the so that these guys will come I'm just going to increase that a little bit and then you're going to have to drive the school and so we're going to have to pull in some more educated people I've got any more edu educated people up here got nine up here Um, yeah, see, you can see that's knocking on to this area here. This hospital isn't working, so that's then affecting this area. And I think this is a good example of how the, the how the interactions of this game work at a lower level, because I've got no hospital here. 
that is now having an effect up here because these people can't visit the hospital and then that actually then causes the population here to decline which then affects my ability to produce coal and then that then echoes down through into the power supply and this is where where it's so important to keep an eye on and manage this area here Wait. let's see kindergarten yeah you've got plenty of staff in is you're getting cinema in. I think what I'm going to do is take out the kindergarten from here as well so these people can work exclusively in the hospital and the cinema so that we've got staff in here yeah, fire station shopping center we've got staff there you guys are just free freeloading no workers in there really do with some more accommodation here but I don't really want to build this up because this is technically mature in its own right I just need to deal with the, the firefighters the school and the yeah we're getting the doctors in here now um, I mean this is providing the stuff for here so we really need a few more people in there the trouble is I don't want to pull them away from this area here He's building these minor roads is a real pain in the neck, to be honest. So you can see this is an example of how good education should work. That these people, that we've got two teachers, we've got enough students coming in here. We've got a lot of um, adults here. Oh, no, this is their tens. They still ten. So these are, are slightly grown children, but that guy, we can slip here. 15 so they're growing up in their own way so let's just have another quick once over this area is looking a bit thin on the ground um, my gulag is keeping everyone keep it on there cannot store asphalt yes concrete plant is still going really well oh, plenty of gravel flowing in here just really would love to find a way to get this gravel moving down faster. And let's just have a look. I think we're going to need to get gravel production running up here. Why are you sat here? What are you doing? No wonder this thing isn't working properly. Well, I could go unload. Pick this one. Unload. Yeah, obviously I didn't set that up properly. <laughs> embarrassing, embarrassing. I think what we're going to do is just uh, we'll do a manual purchase of. I'm just going to store this item exclusively, 470 tons. I'm going to do is purchase, do another manual purchase. Let's get, just to get everything up and running. We've got 160 tons in there now. And what we're going to do is put gravel there. And that should get things working bit more care quicker and that might explain why this road's not yep it needs gravel but that should now uh, wake up the truck the trucks here and they should now start to these dumper trucks should get up here just gonna speed up a bit guys and we're just gonna check that this is actually these guys are now woken up yep we've got a convention coming in so there's now gravel in here 
The game actually must know that this is empty, so it doesn't actually send the trucks. That's interesting. So that's building up quite nicely now. It's taking a little while for these gravel trucks to fill up. Yeah. Nearly there. There we are. Away they go. So that should get things up and running nicely. But I think this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. So in the next part, we're going to carry on trying to work forward, get the money up, get some of this area built so that we can then start to get the steel situation worked out. I think the next focus is going to have to be definitely on getting some more gravel production running up over here so that we can then, because there's no way we're going to be able to build out to here to build a steelworks if I if I can't get a very successful gravel production running. But this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.